Again, having a three-year-old helps because there's never a dull moment except for nap time, which is great. Man, to, to kind of go through a period of solitude with, with no work at all and by myself, I don't know how mentally I would have dealt or how other people who are in that situation deal with that. Honestly, I really don't know, but respect to them. Yeah, I feel for so many people right now on so many different levels, but the people I feel for the most are those with three-year-old children. <laughs> I'll just kind of start a blog about this. And I typed, I wanted, I think the domain I wanted was like Saigonist or Sci, Sci, I don't remember, something like that. And, and GoDaddy was like, nah, like somebody has that. What about this and this and this and this and this? And I was like, oh, that's stupid, that's stupid. Ah, Saigoneer, E-E-R, that's like Pioneer. I can make that work. You are the OG podcast in Saigon. You guys have been going the longest and you would have been, I imagine, I've always put you down as the first English language podcast in, in Saigon or in Vietnam. I, I think that's right. I can't, I, we, at the time that was kind of part of the impetus to begin it was, of course, like Mike, our editor in chief was like, let's make a podcast. And I, I think he pitched it and it took, I think it kind of got swept under the rug for six months or something. And then sometime later it's like, yeah, like, let's just like, let's do it. So, so Saigon definitely wouldn't work in Hanoi then? You, you've tried that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the reason that you laugh explains. I think you've answered your own question. <laughs>